that we're here, and this video is about the Storm Shark Party. This will be the last in the Party Guide series. If you haven't seen the others, watch the others. But if you want to just watch the shark one, also feel free. Right. So first thing, well, so I don't forget, I change out my net gun to the modified hush star. Let's look at this menu. Now there's actually a lot of shark dishes. We got this one, which is the best one. I only just have enough servings of it. Now this one is quite difficult to get everything for. I don't really realize seaweed was this important for it. Because this is only one of the few dishes that seaweed can be used in. This is what I'll be focusing on making. We also got other dishes like this one, this one, this one. All three of these are tied per second. So you can easily, well, actually, not quite. The boil poor beagle shark is slightly worse than the crimson fish roll and the shark carriage because it only has seven servings instead of nine. So, and due to that uh, ease of access of this one, I reckon crimson fish roll is the second best dish here. But yeah, this one's also a shark dish. That's less than I thought. We also have like this guy, and also a bunch of um, boss dishes. Like at least three shark bosses. That's for other sharks in the game. You have one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We have like sixteen different sharks. Also, there's another special shark dish, which is this one here, but let's be real. We're not serving that. Uh, so I got my hush start. And now I'm going to be heading to the Sea People Village. And here we are. Props are grown. Harvest bees. Next up, we're going to stop at the glacial area. Now earlier I did say there's 50, like 16 different sharks in the game, but only a handful of them actually make the good dishes. So we're going to be going after them. But here is our first thing. Now the reason you want the hush star is because a lot of these fish are immune to the net gun. So you need another way of knocking them out. A normal trank gun is fine, but overall, I feel this is the best way of knocking fish out. I have not found a fractalus here yet. And they do hang around somewhere around the hydrothermal vents. But they definitely aren't the easiest to find. Unlike other times I've been down here, there's actually two fish I need to catch down here. So we gotta look for them. Truth be told, you don't really need to bring the hush start for the poor beagle shark. Not sure if I had hit it twice, but might as well make sure. 
and Samo here anyway. So I think the sharks are actually using good dish are the Fractalus, which is a small fish in the hydrothermal vents. The copper and black tip copper, copper shark and black tip reef shark, which both are nighttime only. We got the cookie cutter shark which I just caught, the deep sea shrimpura, but that's not that great a dish. Well, it's good, but not in this circumstance. Or my some circumstance, I should say. And we got Rhino Chimeridae. I was honestly thinking with the amount of sharks there were, there was going to be more shark dishes. But I was wrong. Yeah, because this guy can go in a steel net gun if you really want. Yeah, I caught all the sharks I needed to. I'll avoid the limestone caves, so I'm going to go this way. I shall sure try finding some seaweed on the surface. As his kelp reminded me. There will be Makos up there because in Storm Shark Party, yeah, in Storm Shark Party, the Makos always spawn, always. There it is. I might drone it up because it's not often you get to catch a Mako. Yeah, and those sharks are pretty much worthless. They really don't have much use, even when fully upgraded. I'm out of drones anyway, so return to boat. I'm actually gonna change back to my steel net gun here. So I've already caught up people people, so And next thing's next, I need to go to the glacial area again, try getting that fal fractalus or falcatus, like I don't remember what it is. Here we are. If I sound a bit salty, it's because this is the fourth time I had to do this dive. Yeah, this is a fish you're aiming for. It's this tiny thing here. The Falcatus. Now, there's only really one of them around here. There might be a second one to this side, but I doubt. So therefore, you should probably go for them in your fish farm if you can. I make sure to have good of them in your fish farm. Because only like very few fish are worth collecting down in the hydrothermal vent section, and those being one of them, you'll definitely have room. Here's a second one over here. But as far as I know, those are the only two that can spawn over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the boat because I do not have the energy to go back up through and catch some more sharks that we've already caught. And here we are. Time for the actual restaurant ship. As you can see, this takes quite a lot of servings to actually get the full menu, but it's definitely worthwhile. Your other options include this, which we need to have fish farm them on night dive. This, which we caught earlier, but also only has seven servings. This is just a good dish all the way around, but you can serve it here as well. That makes it even better. And this is all right if you have no other options. Right, 
Right, let's open the restaurant. That's everyone served. People are angry because as always the branch sucks. Yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope you have a good day.